Rick Ross shows off his hand speed doing his workout with his trainer. Morning glory, morning glory, morning glory. I wish you nothing but the best, man. May all your dreams come true. I just got a question for you. What type of individual are you? Are you somebody that's going to wait for somebody to make an offer to you? Are you going to present the offer? Are you going to go get it? You understand? Are you not? What you going to do? Because I want to go get it. I'm going to make me some calls today. How many calls I want to make? I want to make at least 15 possibly 20 phone calls today i'm gonna go out my way i'm gonna network i'm gonna let them know what we doing one time for these young black brothers right here i'm just repping one time for the number one chain uh wing chain in the world wing stop you already know we just grinding what y'all gonna do man the world is yours the world is huge look at that that's all yours you own that that got your name on it that belongs to you baby the most valuable thing you own is time Let's not waste it. Let's go. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. One, two, three. One, two, three, two. One, one. That's what the flip flops on. What you call what used to be your instructor? Your instructor after he came, motherfucking stop you. After he came, after you got him putting his hands up. Yeah, come step in the screen. What you call that when I got you putting your hands up like that? Give me the excuse. Make up an excuse. This called good defense. This called good defense. But when you putting your hands up with your palms like that, what that's called? That means I'm gonna try to block one of your punches while I'm coming in. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That ain't what you used to call it when I used to do it. Yeah, because you were When you was breathing. Oh, the weight. The big difference. Yeah. Oh, because the weight class, if we was boxing, exactly. give him that excuse. There we go. The heavy, I'm a heavyweight and you a what? Mm, middle. Oh, yeah. Middle weight. You see the excuses they make once you become the champion and come take the belt? Give them one more excuse. Give them one more. Oh, uh, one more excuse. Last excuse. Something got good on it. So, that means I'm a good coach, right? We love it. Something got good. Try it. Step to the plate. Next batter up, let's go. Heavyweights, let's go. The bitch can't get around that jab. I knocked the two heavyweights you brought out. Well, the first one I knocked out, his knee buckle and his mouthpiece hit the floor. The second one, who's supposed to be a a pro, he, ain't he pro? Yeah, he pro. He pro, he right pro. now pro. He pro, undefeated, knocking him out. Knocking him out. And what happened when Rose put that piece on him? Rose became a pro boxer that day. He called somebody right after that and said, hey, I'm a pro boxer, I did my thing. The pro boxer came down here, I held my own. I'm a pro boxer now. All I, I ain't held my own. I ain't held my own. You tell another nigga that I ain't held my own. I beat that boy down. <laughs> so I'm glad you come here and kick it with me just so you could know and see. It's all possible. It's all possible. You know, that's what it is. You guys, life is all about networking. I remember I was just recently at a restaurant called Bones in Miami and ran into Tommy Matola. And we had a conversation and we've been speaking on a consistent basis from there. Just on some cool you got a network. It's a lot of people ain't gonna, if you're an artist or producer, they ain't gonna, I fuck your manager. I don't wanna go through management and all that. I understand business. I understand the manager may not do what's best for you all the time. Everything, they, you know, it's gotta eat and all that shit. But sometimes you gotta look at the long, the big picture, the big picture. You understand? So I believe in networking personally. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.